video. Um, well, it is the first one and it's supposed to be the basic check of a driving test in Hanover. So we've got the regular regulations here, give way and so on. And I would just do some commenting and we will have a two video uh, recording, which means you once can listen to my voice and explain everything. And the other one is have a look to the street, what we see. All right, then let's start. So, indicating left, side view, see nothing comes, and let's start the video. So, you always have to pay attention for your speed, and as I haven't seen any sign here, it's 50. Uh, if you have a look at the street here, the street doesn't allow 50. As you can see, there's a give way, we have to turn right now. So, my recommendation is, first line, stop before the cycle paths. No bicycle coming, restarting the car and moving off with the first gear. Small arc that we do not hit the oncoming traffic. And we've turned around, no sign of speed limit, which means 50. So let's speed up to 50. So as you can see straight ahead, there's a sign which says you've got the priority, priority street and the additional sign says you are position number one so we just head along straight ahead and continue so for ecological reason straight ahead street we just shift to fourth gear in the city at the speed of 50. okay now you can see a sign of danger on the right side which means level crossing so we slow down it's absolutely okay if you just slow down to second gear have a look to the left have a look to the right nobody's coming and then you might imagine why please leave the train tracks fast so next we turn right same procedure this is a give way so we continue to the first line no bicycle from the left no bicycle from the right second line is the line of sight no car from the left and turned around here there's no sign of speed and maximum speed so is 50 as you can see on the right side there is a sign which says 30 kindergarten 6 to 22 which means now it's 10 minutes to 8 o'clock in the evening so it's still 30 Now you can see a sign which says 50, but if you look a little bit further, there's another sign which says, do the round thing, drive 30, until the end of construction site. So let's drive 30. So, big mistake, very inviting. There's a left lane, which is clear. In Germany, we drive on the rightmost lane. On the ground you can see a yellow line which is the stopping light for the stopping line for the construction site and our eco mode of the car lets the engine to be silent All right, let's continue. Nobody behind us. Sometimes bicycles, very impatient, try to overtake us. So I've done a side view to exclude that anybody tries to overtake us in the construction site. Still 30. As a habit, I indicate, although it's not necessary because it's the only way we can go, construction site is over. I accelerate a bit and we are on priority street the next priority is a turning bending priority which means right before left so I go to that line stop here completely check my traffic on the most important direction that's the right side all clear and I continue see 30 zone it should be like a switch
which if you see a sign 30 zone it usually should say 30 of course and mostly right before left as the examiner always says when nothing is said it's always straight ahead so you wouldn't say anything now and the second thing is if this traffic say, signs say something different, then you have to see yourself. Oh. Yeah, in the distance you can see there's a round sign and there's a car inside, which means we are not allowed to go inside. I indicate left and I'll do a real left turning with side view so I can exclude that any bicycle comes on the wrong side. Here, for example, he often says Please find a suitable place to turn around. Bitte eine geeignete Stelle suchen zum Umkehren. So usually you would find a place with the biggest space you can see. That's the garage here on the right side. So we pass by, indicate, check the cars behind us. They are stopping and waiting for us. So I'll have a reverse view, reverse driving, reverse view nothing behind us and we continue to our original direction with indicating and still 30 because we are in a 30 zone as we were not able to go to the left at the end of this road it's automatically a turning to the right. Indicate it. Check for bicycles, nothing. Check for cars from the right side, nothing. So here he would ask you, please find a place to park or he will instruct you. So this is the right before left, nothing. Oh, there's a suitable place to park. I indicate early, stop here, and now there are two versions of parking. The one I want to show you is now doing it with an eyesight. You have a look into that corresponding mirror on the side of the parking gap. I steer completely to the right and try not to hit that car. If you can see that one in the mirror, I will not hit the car. Now I take the second airbag, still go reverse pass by that car with my widest part then I take the angle until I can see the curb uh, don't be exaggerated and excited about this beeper that's all this new technical stuff and now we pass by all very carefully now I will hit the curb That is the curb. And now as we cannot go reverse anymore, take the first gear, steer completely to the side of uh, parking gap. That's the right side in this case. And now we have got a slight bump on, of our front right wheel. Yeah, there was the bump. And steering wheel, second airbag, Park and brake, turn off the engine. Perfect. Now, that was the first parking. We did the reverse, uh, the, we, had, we did the turning, we did the reverse parking, parallel parking, and now the next basic task is the emergency braking. So, let's first get into running traffic. Indicate side view, all clear, we can go. Now I speed up to 30, second gear. And now my driving teacher says the word. Break. Yeah. And proceed as learned, which means first gear indicate, mirror, mirror, side view, all clear, and let's proceed. So, well, right before left, the car in front of us is indicating so turning traffic has to wait we may go first and so we can proceed here now to 
that next intersection you cannot see the important sign because the truck on the right side is parked in the wrong way now you can see it priority street may go first and then the street from the right that car goes first car's gone there's a bus on the left side And there's no need to rushing things. We just can let the bus go first. Oh, there's a bicycle on the right side, which may go first too because of priority street. So check the directions, nothing from the left, nothing from straight ahead, nothing from the right. And so we just turn around. No pedestrians here because when you're turning, the pedestrians may go first too. So let's go with something like 30 until we cross the zebra crossing, done, and no sign so we can drive 50. Oh, badly parked car on the right side. You always have to check your mirrors from time to time, every 30 seconds to see what happens on, the, on your left side. Oh, there's a sign, it says 30 until the zebra crossing. We've had that before with the construction site. So zebra crossings, gone and it's 50 again. No? So on the right side, you can see sign of danger, dangerous bend. So if you take your, away your accelerator and you just roll through the bend, then it's all fine. No? Another sign which says careful traffic light in 70 meters, but the lamp be, be, below that is not indicating. So we can assume that the traffic light is green. Yeah, see there one, that's true. And uh, if you drive something like 30 in this bend, that's fine. Go bend is over, speed up to something like 50. And let's see what expects us next. If nothing is said, always straight ahead. You see the arrows on the ground to say straight ahead oh there's a stop sign i'll go to that line without sinking no? the blue sign says we have to go to the right indicating necessary no bicycle from the left no bicycle from the right no car from the left and big street no sign of speed the right side has a sunken curb which means we have got the priority And maximum speed here is 50. No, still priority street. No. Straight ahead we've got some parked cars on the right side. Now this is pretty narrow so in this case we can go a little bit to the center line. <clears throat> Maybe we cross it a bit because there's enough space for the others so we will not endanger them. All right now it's a green light. <clears throat> Level crossing ahead but this one is an easy one. No. I check my side view, mirror, no train from the left, nothing from the right, traffic lights are off <clears throat> and you may continue at the speed. So some 100 meters away is a red traffic light. So I take away the accelerator. This is the ecological driving. Now it's getting green again. So we can re-accelerate to something like 50. German sentences. Wir fahren weiter auf die Kraftfahrstraße in Richtung Hildesheim. So, bloody hell, where's Hildesheim? Ah, it's to the right. Uh, that was an easy one. So, next one. Very difficult if you don't know. These lights are off. So I can go to the last line, have a check to the left. No car coming. And now we are on Kraftfahrstraße, which means motorists way. You don't expect here any pedestrians, bicycles or slow scooters. No? Minimum speed here should be something like 60 according to your vehicle's paper. We've got the third gear for acceleration now. I indicate and speed up. something like 90 shifting to the next gear
gear and now we can go to the fifth gear because we want to drive eco ecologically. No. Speed should be something like 100, maybe 90. If you want to have a place where to look at, take the inner line of the bend. Yeah, sign says 100 is maximum speed. First go pretty much straight ahead and late steering. We go to that thick line on the ground and we start from the right lane and we end from the right lane. And turning around, no new signs for speed limit, which means 50. I'm already in fourth gear. light and I think we have to stop here shifting points 20 30 and 50 kilometers per hour so now it's 50 and fourth gear At the traffic light, we'd like to turn right. We are on a right turners lane, so whatever you do, in this lane it's only right turning. We are right here, we're correct here to be exact. So we've got a green arrow, so I take the second gear, let the clutch in. I don't really have to pay extra attention for pedestrians and bicycles because an arrow green means it's your green. Next street, please turn left. So I turn left once, side view, see that, and turn left here at this place. Any car coming from straight ahead, but far away. I shift down to second gear, let the clutch in, and woohoo! Ah, that's party, party mood here. So it's 50 again. Next street, we'd like to turn right. Yeah, this is a regular right before left. And as we've got a supermarket around here, Turning needs attention as we are turning traffic for pedestrians and bicycles going in straight ahead direction. I can see anybody. It's clear. So, turning around, no speed limit, it's 50. We are going on the rightmost lane. On the right side, that car has a sunken curb, it has to wait. And this is a very tricky one because there's a street hidden behind a hill. So my recommendation is go there, stop completely and then you creep inside and have a look. All clear, indicate left, side view, 
pass by that red truck. So, speed would be here 50, there was no speed limit. And now again a tricky one. Uh, there's a sign on the right side and sometimes trucks are parked here so you can, you can see it very late. I indicate because of getting back on the right lane this is not yet uh, this is not anymore um, a level crossing no? well it was a level crossing some weeks before but they have taken away the St. Andrews cross so it's a regular street so I continue with 30 because there was no other speed limit here Usually this is the bus station where a bus stands and waits for the workers of the company working here. Now, if a bus stands here, just stop and the examiner could tell you, please pass by carefully. Okay, a red light with an induction loop, which means we just stand here, wait for our green because the car tells the traffic light that we are here. And green light, which means it's our green, we may go. Uh, first we try to get the right lane, got that one. Next traffic light, please turn left. So it's a double lane change, indicate side view, nothing, all clear. Second one, indicate side view, all clear. And now we found the right lane. It's a left turner's lane only. Yeah, we've got a left turning traffic light, which means if it's your green, then you simply go. traffic light. Now, my favorite opinion is if you've got a red light you simply stop. Easy, huh? huh? Because if you've, if you've got a look at the, at the left side where the priority street is, because they've green, uh, it's not to be excluded that you are an obstruction to them. And if you are an obstruction to them, then you have a real problem. problem why? Because you passed the red light. And we don't want to do that. Do we? So, turn around, no sign of speed, 50 is maximum, fourth gear as early as possible. No. Yeah, and now we are in a part of the city where lots of people live, who not really have the idea of how traffic works in Germany. So we always have to be careful, people run over the street at places you don't believe. No. And I do not mean zebra crossing, that would be easy. So I slow down. So, yeah, nothing from straight ahead. Streets clear, we can accelerate. 50 children should be basically in bed now. It's quarter to eight, well, the small one actually. Now, car coming from straight, slow down get away it's just like dancing so zebra crossing speed is 30 maximum because of old people's home no person to be seen here and level crossing again nothing from the left and nothing from the right the right one is especially dangerous and now let's 
follow the priority street, which means next one left. So we've got the second gear. Oh, the red one was illegal. We had priority. At the traffic light, please turn left. So that car we have got straight ahead may go first because it could be a straight ahead. The bicycle was again illegal. Uh, came from somewhere, went to somewhere. And turning around, no sign of speed. So, this level crossing is very good. Nothing from the left, nothing from the right. So I didn't even slow down because it was very good visibility here. And oh, Selden. Our straight ahead traffic light is red. Now it turns green and we simply can continue. Didn't even have, have to shift. Almost home, just go back to the examination authority and then it's your license. sing the Scottish song Old Lang Syne, this would be the time to do that. The last thing the examiner would say, please get the car ready for parking. So it's no gear, handbrake, engine off, take out the key and steering wheel lock. The very last thing he will ask you is, please show me how to get out. You take your hand from the shift, stick shifter to the door handle and look out of the window and see if there's a car or bicycle coming. And if it's all clear, then you get out. Thank you for watching.